Jeremy, do you still want to do your thing tonight, or would you like to <laughs> wait till Bard Week? Because we could wait till Bard Week. I... I'm fine with sharing it tonight. Right, Jamie went enough. and shared it on, on the internet, and I don't think it's going to go viral, but it's the kind of goofy thing that it, it like, could, uh, you know? Jer <laughs> so uh, Jeremy made her just to talk about it, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, so I know, and this is something that, like, definitely has a little bit of, of uh, political charge to it. So if, uh, not for the faint of heart, if you do not like discussing politics, um, we normally shy away from that kind of stuff in Pete and Jeremy's D&D time, but this is something we, you know, felt was a farce on it. Uh, just full disclosure, we do not want to see more stuff like this, especially in the D&D &D time Discord. Yes. Just um, full disclosure, we do not want you to make things like this and share them on our channel because um, we do not want that kind of political discussion. This, this is something, is just something I made really as made a gag. For fun. Um, so... Keep in mind, yeah. if you're not interested in that thing, come back in five, you know? Well, we're, we're done for the night after it, I think, uh, right? Ask Pete, ask Pete and Jeremy. Oh, right, ask Pete and Jeremy after. All right, we're pretty much done. So yeah, come back in five if, you're, if you really are not interested in politics or anything. But I made a bard, so, so this was uh, Be Me. It is 12.30 at night. I've been lying in bed for three and a half hours. My mind is racing a million miles per minute, and I'm filled with political rage. And so I take out my phone, I make a new document, I start to typing, and we now have the College of the Burn subclass for the Bard. Uh, you play the subclass if you want to be Bernie Sanders, uh, who is a political uh, aspirant, uh, political hopeful uh, in the United States presidential election for 2020. I like this a lot. I like the flavor. I like the sense that some people want to see the world. Some burn people want, want to see the world burn. Is funny. Yes, some people want to see the world burn. World burn. You, however, want to see it burn. Barnes of this college seeks to make the world a better place through neighborly care, mutual respect, and empowerment of the common man. So I made some goofy abilities. There's actually some really inspired design. I feel like in this subclass, uh, all jokes aside. But so I gave it a third level ability: care for all. Uh, when you join the College of the Burn at third level, you learn the Healing Word and Lesser Restoration spells. <laughs> they count as bard spells for you, but do not count against your number of spells known. Yeah, additionally, think, uh, yeah, okay, uh -huh. go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna additionally, say, this is I think is a cool mechanic. Yeah, these spells gain an alternate cast time of one reaction, which you take when a creature you can see takes damage, and an alternate target of the triggering creature, which you may use in addition to the spell's normal cast time and target option. I really like this, personally. I really like the idea of, hey, you go down, no, come back <laughs> with your healing words. No, or, that's, that's, that's cool. It's cool. Fun, fun little design mechanic. Uh, not me, us. By third level, you've learned to teach others how to further empower one another. When a creature that you have inspired rolls their bardic inspiration die, they may cho also choose another creature that can hear them within 60 feet. The chosen creature then gains a bardic inspiration die, which functions as detailed in the bardic inspiration class feature. Your, your age category changes to venerable, says right? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, in previous editions, yes. Uh, so those are level three features. Obviously, it's very powerful, everybody. I'm I'm just making yeah, a, it's, a it's joke. just about the joke. Uh, I think in the balance. Honestly, if if I if it didn't have lesser restoration, I think this would actually be a pretty interesting, somewhat balanced feature. Um, I don't think a reaction healing word is really that powerful. Uh, grassroots at sixth level, you and your companions have learned to mutually benefit from your arcane powers. As a bonus action, you may make a mystic connection to any number of willing non-hostile creatures with the spell casting feature within 60 feet of you. While connected, these creatures treat their first level spell slots as a communal pool from which any connected creature can spend. This mystic connection lasts for one minute or until you lose your concentration, as if concentrating on a spell. When the, mystic uh, when the mystic connection ends, each connected creature's remaining number of level one spell slots becomes set equal to the even distribution rounded up of all remaining slots in the pool. A connected creature gains these slots even if the number of spell slots, even if the number of spell slots would be greater than their current spellcaster level would normally allow. And you well, can use this a number of times equal to your charisma modifier. And here's the so, real feature uh, is the final <laughs> one here. 
feel the burn at 14th level. Uh, you have learned to fully share your just and righteous power. Whenever a non-evil creature of challenge rating one or lower uses your not me us feature to grant another creature a bardic inspiration die, they immediately gain the bardic inspiration, not me us, and feel the burn features. <laughs> That's a joke. That Additionally, is, uh, th on the subject of inspired design, that one I don't think should ever show up. <laughs> Additionally, you learn the banishment spell, if you do not already know it, which you may cast once per day without expending a spell slot. Humanoids of evil alignment have disadvantage on their saving throws against the special casting of the spell. It's goofy. This uh, is a gag. That's Jeremy's, <laughs> that's Jeremy's uh, Bernie Sanders bard. Uh, yep. And we normally don't talk politics on D&D time. But I would ask if uh, this amused you at all to uh, check out check out Bernie Sanders' issues, his uh, his takes on the the issues for the twenty twenty presidential election. Uh, he's a very genuine candidate, and that's all I'm going to say because I want to keep this as not political as possible. Uh, v Bunny says this is way too powerful. You know what, V Bunny? <laughs> You're right. He Agreed. is too powerful. <laughs> Agreed. It is way too powerful. Um, this yeah, really makes my, my uh, mystique bard a lot, uh, a lot more uh, weak. Huh? Wait, Miss mystique is underpowered. Let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk. Uh, let's, let's talk to Let's talk. To ask, talk uh, ask Pete and burr, 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 burr. Thank you, uh, by the way, guys, uh, for humoring me on that I'm one. Getting, I'm getting sleepy. I'm falling back in my chair. Um, does that give first level slots back to a warlock of higher than first level? Nah, give them first level slots. It says even if they normally wouldn't be able to have them. It says it specifically in that feature for warlocks, for, uh, what are they? Uh, paladins, right? If paladins can't have that many. Uh, and everybody, I'll make sure I keep you on mind that you're interested in the uh, Lich's Lair for that, for that guy. Um, and um, let me hop over to...